Hello there everybody, uh, this is Wolf Guardian here, and today we're going to be making a YouTube video on Doom. Yay! Finally, uh, we're getting back to Doom now. Um, we're going to go on campaign. And we're going to play the entire campaign through. But, um, here's the catch. We're going to do it on... Maybe Nightmare. Combat is a knife edge. One mistake can be the difference between living and gruesome death. There are no tutorials for the expert player. Ultra nightmare. This is a night. This is nightmare with a major one major adjustment. If you die, your campaign is over, and de and a death marker will be left behind as a reminder of how far you progressed. You can save your campaign upon completing a mission and dying or fa failing in a ruin trial. Will not affect your progress. Holy crap. Yeah, no, we're gonna do Nightmare, not Ultra Nightmare. Screw Ultra Nightmare. This series would probably take like 300 videos to finish. Uh, we're gonna do Nightmare. And it's probably already gonna take 100 videos to finish. Unable to adjust the difficulty settings. Uh, campaign on Nightmare. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Whew. This is gonna be fun. I hope. So you walk eternally through the shadow realm, standing against evil where, other, where all others falter. May your thirst for retribution never quench, may the blood on your sword never dry, and may we never need you again. Korax Century 717 I'm also going to read all of the descriptions and bios and whatnot, so that you guys can get a better familiarization with the story, because before when I recorded Doom, it was just bits and pieces, and it was just kind of for fun. Uh, this time, it's gonna be for a challenge, Nightmare Difficulty, and for the story, so you guys will get the full story experience and everything. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Snap, I gotta get out. Slap. Damn it, Billy, I said no eating people. What did I tell you? Now I'm gonna have to shoot you all because of Billy. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah, bang, 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 bang. I like you. Me like you. Boop. Hello. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for putting the story in, that's always a fear of mine now. Considering I, uh, did for the, uh, zombies on Black Ops 3. So I came out of that. Seems legit. Ooh. Me likey. I don't like you that. It's cool because I know what all of that means now. But I won't tell you guys, no spoilers. Even though I made a live stream of me like ending the game, but you know. Okay, base casualties. Everything is unavailable. Satellite dish array. Offline, no signal. Scanning trace route. Node 1, online, node 2, online, node 3. Error. Cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the ResOp satellite is brought back online. Alright then. Plus plus alignment error, plus plus. Main power offline, alignment Welcome. offline. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. No. New Codex Century. Doom Marine. Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the Doom Marine. Some incantation tablets and an ancient combat suit, which was given a, the, a name, the Praetor Suit. When found, it was an in, it was encased in an. Ex 
inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned, and subjected to numerous tolerance tests, and found to be almost impervious uh, to any damage. It appeared to have some mechanical function as well. Small receptors on the gloves and chest plate that attracted argent plasma and dissipated it through capillary tubes in the substructure. Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man or humanoid seen in several of the tablets or stones found on other expeditions. The same markings were also noted on the helix stone. Despite it being clear that the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doom Marine himself. And weapons, of course. Every UAC employee- uh, you know what, I'm not gonna read the weapons, because I'm lazy. You guys don't need to know about that, that's not very good for lore. Do. Your bloody head off. Your head off. Monster, the possessed. The possessed are created in Lazarus Wave event, a phenomenon that discovered by Dr. Olivia Pierce during her Lazarus project. While most victims exposed to Argent biowaves will expire without further effect, some subjects will absorb traces of Argent energy and enter a state of posthumous vigor. Despite necrosis of the internal organs, with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a low order of sentience for weeks and, or even months after clinical death. Posthumous brain activity in the possessed is limited to inactive behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. When isolated, they will often enter a dormant state for extended periods of time. They will stand unmoving for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. An interesting behavior that has been seen in the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens and then perform a silent ritual around the pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stages of a gore nest. These actions must be driven by telepathic communication with higher-ranking demons, as there is no local brain activity that could manage such choices. The possessed will perform these uh, tasks even when limbs are removed or Pavlovian pain responders are implanted in their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves performing an integral part of, of the life cycle of the demons. The possessed create birthing grounds for new demons, and upon expiration are themselves used as fertilizer for the gore nest. Fun. So, these guys are just, basically, I'm helping them by killing them. Jesus, Gonzalez, I got hit by a possessed and almost died? This is scary. I get a shotgun here. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Right, bye bye. I don't like you. I didn't like you before, and I'm not gonna like you now. Found. How is it? You almost killed me. I don't like you because you have ranged. Monsters, imp. These ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell and are often used on the front line of con uh. Concerted attack in either dimensions. They re revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them. Okay. That's very little. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm not gonna be able to pass this. No, I can do it. I'm a professional at this kind of game. I'm really good at first-person shooters. I'm a professional now. If I just keep telling myself that, maybe, maybe I might win. Wait, possibly. No, go to hell. Probably shouldn't say that because you come from hell, but... Pew. 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 Can I get... A freaking bang. There we go. Hell for me. This is gonna suck. Gore nests. 
studies of demons upon entering the dimension have shown that their conduct is not purely vindictive, there is a method behind their actions. When a demon captures their prey, the fresh kill is taken to a temporary ceremonial site where arcane rituals are performed on the pile of blood and gore. When enough corpses have been gathered, the ceremonial site becomes gore a gore nest. These sites imbued with hell energy from rituals act as umbilical cords to hell. Extreme caution must be taken when approaching a gore nest, attacking a gore nest, or indeed any demons within close proximity to the nest will act as an alarm and siphon demons from hell. Bye okay. bye. I'm not even gonna stay close to you. Nobody loves you or you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh shite. Whoa! I'm feisty. Uh oh. Demon presence and not safe level. Lockdown. Bang! Give me the, give me the, give me the health, boss. Boom! Could you just die in a hole? Thank you. And you're dead now. Ooh. Ooh, guess who's dead? You are. Ha <laughs> ha Oh shite. Okay, I got a little too cocky there. I am still the best. Shut up. So what if I died within like the first probably five minutes of my video? Shut up. I'm doing good. I'm on the second hardest difficulty. And the only reason I'm not on the hardest difficulty is because that would take way too long to put into a video. Or into a series. Just And this is going to take long enough as it is. Open up. Alright, let's start all the way back here. Hello. Yes. Take it, you haven't had a very good day today. Sucks to be you, because I just punched your head off. Give me the, give me the, give me the ammo, boss. Thank you, come again. Ooh, give me more ammo. Oh, I don't need ammo. Oh, bye bye. Um, hit up here, hardcore parkour. Thank you. Dang. Owie! Dang. Demonic prisoners are not safe level. Dang. Whoa, okay. Bam. Wow, wow. Damn. Alright. Mmm, yum. That looks like it would make for a good dessert. Screw you. Goodbye. Focus here. Oh, shite. That hurt. So right now, currently, it's like two hits and I'm dead. Oh crap, I saw that coming too, I missed, I missed, that was the only reason I died was because I missed, it was right, one mistake can be the difference between life or death, and I missed, I literally was pressing sideways and pressing jump, but just because I missed, oh my god, oh this is gonna take a while, and I know because it's just the first level, this is easy compared to what they have later on. Holy crap. I need to spend my upgrades wisely as well. Very, very wisely. Good night. Give me the, give me the, give me the health boss. Yo. Somebody should make that a meme. I swear to god, somebody in the comments make that a meme. Give me the health boss. And it, I, I don't know how you make it, what kind of picture it'll show. Make it a meme. Holy crap. I didn't mean to do that. Crap, I did not mean to do that. Oh, son of a... Not a good start. Very bad start, actually. Go away, go away, go back to hell where you came from. 
Kinda hold on, no one loves you. Goodbye forever. Oh crap, behind me. Eep. I could like feel that. That was making me cringe really bad. Where are you? There you are. Hello. Whoa. Got okay, too feisty. Whoa. Owie! Screw off. Oh, I need to learn how to aim better. Crap! What killed me? I just like landed and died. I exploded! I just like I jumped off the edge and then I hit the ground and I ran left and I just exploded. I freaking exploded. Guys, it's plain don't touch the ground. If you touch the ground, you explode. Oh, that sounds like a fun game, except it happens in real life. It, it, it's not pretend. Oh, are, are you, are you serious? I am serious. We're playing now. I never agreed to the bang. Oh, I guess he died. He exploded in a little tiny piece. Hate you. Absolutely hate these things. And it's not because they're hard to kill. It's just because they're so annoying. They shoot at you from long ranges. Look, I hate them. Just a complete nuisance. I need more health. Mine. Neom. Neom. Whoa. Whoa. Demonic presence and unsafe mode. Fight me. Say, fight me. Demonic pieces of crap, fight me. Thine blood shall be spilt on thou sword. I shall destroy thine. And send thee back to hell where thy came from. No! Aim right! Damn it, I suck! Thought I was dead for sure. Ooh. Oh no. Holy crap. Okay, I blew that guy up. Boom. Getting rid of the explosive barrels because it's probably what killed me. Holy crap, that was close. I need a lot of environmental awareness. Owie! How dare you! I wonder if there's anybody who's actually subbed to my channel who likes me enough to make fan art. God! It's because I got stuck on the ledge. Oh my god, every little detail is the reason I died. I got stuck on a ledge. I missed. I hit the ground. I breathed. I took a breath too soon and I died. No. Honest to god, I wonder if there's anybody who's subbed to my channel yet, who, like, because I only have a few subs, who's good at art. I don't even care if you're good at art. If anyone's willing to create fan art, I doubt it. Whatever, we'll get there eventually. Also, I cannot wait to get a grenade launcher on my shotgun. That's gonna be uber helpful. Screw you. I'm gonna go through all this crap again. Get all that. Get all this. I can eventually double jump, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, so yeah. It's gonna be really nice. No, 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 no. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Yum. Yum. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting to do? Uh, if you look inside that little orb thing at the top, you can actually see in the hell. Like, you know how they say it's like, uh, umbilical cord to hell? You can actually see in the hell if you look through one of those things. It's pretty neat. I found that out for myself. I'll show you guys if I die or if I find another one soon. Oh my god! Die in a hole. Die in a hole. Die in a hole. Thank you. 
Oh crap. Jesus, those Gonzalos. Holy crap, I'm actually doing good. Oh, 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 I did it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, there's health. Uh, I think that's everything in here. Does it show me all the secrets? I don't have missed a secret. Yeah, a lot of these videos are gonna be me running around looking for secrets as well, just so you guys know. Actually, I might edit those parts out. Probably gonna have to. Be like 20 minutes of me looking for secrets and like 10 of me gameplay. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. Why? I'm a nice guy. Pew. Pew. Alright, I would. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Okay. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk. I assure you. Boom. Shaka waka waka. Yeah. Oh crap, what up? Alright, do this. I know I do believe there's like a billion secrets in this area. I'm just kidding, there's not a billion. Hello. Hey boss. Neurom. Hey boss. Impact compensation, thank you. Secrets. Yeah, I'm gonna be checking my map a lot too. Where are you, secrets? I'm looking for you. Come here, my pretties. I shall devour you and use you as upgrade points. I swear on my mother's car. Mm. I'm not gonna read that. I'm just gonna read- I'm just gonna read monsters. Screw all this. No, I'm probably gonna have to read that. That's cheating. Um, environments. The UAC! Despite this, the discovery of liquid water on Mars in the early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century. With the discovery of Argent Fracture, a transdimensional stream of unrefined Argent Plasma in 2095, Settling uh, and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands of Earth. However, the need for atmospheric con con conversion and terraforming of the red planet was a task that seemed insurmountable to all but the one corporation, UAC. Through their diligent education, uh, uh, dedication to technological advan advancements and forward thinking, the outpost was established in MTC. 2096 to extract extract argent plasma from the fracture when the plasma is subjected to the UAC's fermionic tra transference pattern. Argent energy is produced. The remarkable remarkable uh, venture eventually bore fruit as argent energy became the primary power source of, of all Earth. New visitors to the UAC facility may take for granted the rich atmosphere well on the surface, but it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago Mars was an inhospitable desert that could support no life. Unauthorized exploration into the exclusion zones outside the base is not allowed under any circumstances. Highly volatile experiments and artifacts are frequently researched a safe distance away from the base, and your safety, safety in these areas cannot be guaranteed. <sighs> that was a lot of reading. Oh, I'm not kidding, that was nowhere near a lot of reading. Oh crap, oh crap! Okay. Eek! Headshot. Oh, you little crap. Eek! I'll put him eventually if I just do this. Eh. 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 There we go. I'm just trying to take out all the little guys while I can up here so they're not a problem when I'm down there because trust me, I really want to do this. Eh. Eh. Alright, 
Alright, that looks like all the little guys down there. Except for that guy. Eesh. Ah, screw that guy. Nyeom! Impact compensation. Oh, shite. Boom. Monsters, more reading! While well, Lazarus Wave Exposure does effectively wipe uh, any vestige of human behavior from most of its victims, some subjects continue to, to display tactical cognizance, cognizance posthuma posthumously. As with possessed engineers, this does not appear to be random. If an individual has training in combat as part of the UAC military, the Lazarus Wave event will transform them into more than mere slaves. The anomaly further supports the theory that there are some of some form of genetic coding embedded within the Lazarus Wave particles, which governs itself outcome, it, uh, governs the outcome of Lazarus Wave exposure on a per case basis. Yeah. Ooh. Nope. 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 Oh, sweet Jesus. No. 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 Holy crap, that looks deadly. Could you let me climb up there? Boom shaka laka laka. Bam. You're dead, mate. Boom shaka laka laka. Whoa! A little feisty over there. I like it when that. Uh... Oh my god. No, 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 no. 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 Thank you. Come again. Boom. 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 Did that damage me? I'm not sure. I can't tell, I'm going too fast. Uh, do, 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 do. Boom, Chef Alaka Laka. Guess he's dead now. Eek! Nope, that's not gonna work. Holy crap. Okay, I should have obviously seen that coming. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the video there, actually. Um, yeah, I'll end it right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Likes are awesome. Make me feel good about myself, okay? Anyways, um, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Lots more content is gonna be coming out. And, um, also, too, uh, leave a comment, tell me how you think I'm doing. Um, if there's a suggestion, a game that I've been doing recently that you like to see more about, or you would like to see me try something on, see a challenge or whatever. Uh, drop that in the comments as well, and I will do that. Uh, I might do another story time video next. I'm not sure. Definitely do another one of those. Um, if you guys have a story that you want me to read, drop that in the comments. That'll make my life a lot easier. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys later.